so the cutting of jungle is everywhere you know if you uh, go against the ecosystem there's going to be problem everything is going to take place india has one of the most extensive flat and fertile plains in the world these plains lie to the south of the himalayas they extend from the satluj river in the west to the brahmaputra river in the east the ganga brahmaputra basin includes the plains of ganga and the brahmaputra rivers the himalayas and the sundarban delta the ganga brahmaputra basin is made up of alluvial alluvium brought by the ganga and the brahmaputra rivers and the numerous tributaries the ganga originates from the gangotri glaciers in the himalayas we all know that the bhagirathi and alaknanda rivers join to form the ganga the ganga enters the plain at haridwar the ganga basin stretches from delhi to kolkata it includes parts of haryana uttar pradesh uttarakhand bihar west bengal rajasthan and madhya pradesh the basin covers much as a larger area than the brahmaputra basin the brahmaputra lies in the north eastern part of india the brahmaputra river rises from chemayung dung glacier near lake mansarovar in tibet it is called the sangpo in tibet the river enters india through arunachal pradesh from the top it comes in through arunachal pradesh from the corner the ganga and the brahmaputra rivers join together before draining into the bay of bengal together these rivers form the largest and perhaps the most fertile delta in the world the sundarbans a major part of this delta is now in bangladesh the ganga brahmaputra basin experiences monsoon type of climate the climate this type of climate is characterized by hot summers wet monsoons and cold winters most of the rainfall takes place during the monsoon season the most the amount of rainfall decreases from east to west the coastal areas and mountains experience a pleasant climate but the interiors experience an extreme climate it's hot the forests in the ganga brahmaputra basin are mostly tropical and deciduous these forests yield valuable timber as sal teak peepal and bamboo are most are the important trees found in these forests okay the delta region has mangrove forests coniferous forests are found in some parts of uttarakhand sikkim and arunachal pradesh a large part of these forests have been cleared to provide land for agriculture the forests are rich in wildlife there are many national parks and wildlife sanctuaries elephants rhinoceros tiger deer and monkeys are found here in the delta region the royal bengal tigers crocodiles and alligators are found a large variety of fishes such as rohu katla and hilsa are also found in the basin towards our bengal and bangladesh side what do people do here and their economic activities agriculture is the most important occupation of the people the basin has a la- the basin has a number of geographical advantages which favor agriculture some of them are as under the climate is suitable for growing crops throughout the year fertile alluvial soil deposited by the rivers coming from the mountains perennial rivers provide enough water for irrigation especially during dry season the flat low lands making farming easier and also useful for the development of an excellent network of roadways and railways the agro based industries in this region depend on agriculture the main crops cultivated in this plain are rice wheat maize sorghum pulses millets gram sugarcane cotton oil seeds tea jute silk fruits and vegetables in hilly areas the slopes have been terraced to carry out intensive agriculture tea is mostly grown in plantations in assam and west bengal silk worms are rare in rare in parts of bihar west bengal and assam cotton jute silk sugar cane and oil seeds provide the basic raw materials for the textile sugar for the textile sugar and edible oil industries the cultivation of food crops has priority over cash crops most of the people in the ganga brahmaputra uh, basin live in villages in the rural areas apart from agriculture many cottage and small scale industries also have developed the lifestyle of rural people is improving as their income is increasing the plains are more populated than the mountain areas a number of cities with population over more than 10 lakhs have developed along the banks of the rivers some of them are kanpur allahabad varanasi patna kolkata guwahati the ganga brahmaputra basin has well developed system of transport and communication 
The rivers provide inland waterways. The dense network of roads and railways have helped the growth of the development of trade, industries and tourism. Kolkata is a busy port on the Hooghly River. Most of the big cities are linked by air services. Okay. Read this, do this and uh, finish it off. And the question answers are your job. You have to do it. I have told you all to, what to do. So we are left with only now subtropical is done. Life in the temperate grasslands, life in the deserts, 1, 2 and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here. That's 8 chapters. So we still have to do the temperate grasslands. So we'll keep it till here today. Next class I'll do the weld, the temperate grasslands and then we'll go ahead. Temperate grasslands and uh, the life in the desert. After that we'll go to the social and political life. Okay. So till then take care. Bye bye and see you soon.